Why do I feel like this? What's happening to me? It's never been this bad before. I was able to pull myself out last time, but this time it feels like I've hit rock bottom. I can't shake this empty feeling. My heart hurts. I feel so hopeless. My mind is racing and I'm depressed. What's wrong with me? Hi everyone, it's your girl Leah. Thank you for joining my live. I just reached 10K followers on TikTok. I love you guys so much. Nothing is better than this in life. <sighs> Social media? I mean, I have all the followers. I get all the likes. I do everything I, I have to do, but I still don't feel like I'm enough. I feel so worthless. There has to be something wrong with me. Oh my God, that party was so lit. I think we should go to the next spot. But first, I think we need more liquor. Alcohol. I've been to all the parties. I've been to all the clubs. I've gone and I had fun, but once I get back to my place, I feel so alone. I feel so lonely. Really, what's wrong with me? Wow, bro, I'm so rich. I can buy so much Robux, I can buy an iPhone, and I can buy a PS5. How about you? Yeah, bro, me, honestly, I'm gonna buy myself the best gaming PC. Money? I have money. I have lots of it. I've bought everything I wanted. I could even buy more. They told me that money buys happiness, and yet I'm not happy. Really? What's wrong with me? So yeah, you know, I just, you know, I'm a Muslim. My family is about to go to this Mecca. And I'm just excited to just, you know, travel there and then watch this being, you know, Muslim, just do all these good things so I can remember my way to heaven. So how's life been for you? Uh, I've been practicing mindfulness and been meditating and it's been helping me a lot. So, and I have my crystals with me today and it's been helping me to be active throughout the day. I think you should try it. Well, you know, that's your thing, that's my thing. You know, you do you, I do me. So whatever works for you, that works, yeah? Deeds, crystals, I've done all that. Money, I have it. I've been to every single party. I've done everything I could to feel something. Yet I feel so empty. I feel so lost and broken, and this pain, the pain, it's unbearable. Somebody, anybody, please tell me what's wrong with me. Where's my phone? Where did I put it? Where's my phone? Oh. Taylor? Taylor. We haven't talked in a while, but I just, I just felt led to call you. You're probably going through a lot right now. You don't have to say much, Taylor. T Taylor, I've noticed that you just seem, something just seem off. But you know, God wants me to encourage you, Taylor, and tell you that he is the God who sees you. Taylor, he sees you because he made you. He knows you. And he says, come unto me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Taylor, I'm, I'm not sure all that you're going through, but 
He wants to give you rest, Taylor. You don't need alcohol. And I, I, I know that in this day and age, partying and, and alcohol is what people are like chasing after and, and, and social media and likes, and followers and, and all, this, all this stuff. Taylor, Jesus is enough. You don't need religion. I, I know right now mindfulness and converting to, to all types of uh, uh, religions and Islam, trying to work your way into being good enough for God. But you know what, Taylor? None of us are good enough. Feel as if, you might feel as if maybe you've done so many bad things and, and, and maybe God won't accept you. But you know what, Taylor? We've all, we've all messed up, Taylor. We've all messed up. But you know what? Jesus died for that. Jesus died for your sins and, and, and he wants to make you new. He wants to give you life and purpose, Taylor. Taylor, I've, I've chased all of these things before, but you know, Jesus, Jesus says that he is the bread of life. He wants to satisfy your soul. Taylor, he's the only one that satisfies. Turn to him, Taylor. Turn to him. He is the way. He is the truth and, and he is the life. He will give you life and he will give you purpose. Taylor, I, I know that you, can, that you can hear me right now. You don't have to say anything, but when you get a chance, read Matthew 11, verse 28. Read that, Taylor. Surrender your life to Jesus. He loves you. All right, Taylor. Bye-bye. How did she know all that? How did she know? She told me to read Matthew 11, 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Dear Lord, Come before you today. I know you see my heart. I know you see my burdens. I know you you've seen everything that I've done. Father God, I just ask for your forgiveness. And Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart. I surrender my life to you. And I say thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your forgiveness. And thank you for your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.